We are in Windows 10 and Hyper-V Manager. I've installed Hyper-V on Windows 10, and we've got a couple of servers going in there. We have two Windows 2016 servers. One is on, one is off. So we'd like to add more processors to our virtual machines. If we go down to our task manager, we can see how many processors we have available. And uh, we can see here, if we click on CPU, that we have eight logical processors. So let's go ahead and use those to make our virtual machines run faster. So we need to start by right-clicking on our uh, virtual machine that's turned off and go to Settings. And from Settings, we'll go to Virtual Processors. So we have it set to 4 right now. We can change that as high as 8 if we'd like. Now, just because we have it set to 8 doesn't mean it's going to use all 8. It's only going to use it at times where it really needs it. Otherwise, they'll be fairly idle. And when it's not being in use, then other virtual machines or even the host itself can be using them. I definitely recommend you don't use as many as you actually have in the host itself. You probably want to back off at least a couple uh, or maybe even a little bit more. However, don't be afraid of using that, that same amount in every one of your virtual machines because of the fact that they do share those processors when they're not fully used by any one single virtual machine. So once we're all done with that, then we can go ahead and click OK. Now, if we go to our running virtual machine and go to settings, and then we go to processors, we can see that it's grayed out. So just make sure that if you want to make changes to that, you need, you need to have the virtual machine turned off. And then you can either raise or lower the amount of processors that it's using for your virtual machine. <coughs>